This is the end. Very funny movie. Thank uh, you. I got a screening copy, and I'm watching it, and I thought, this is just going to kill with audiences. They're going to really love it. Are you ever tempted, when a, movie, when a comedy of yours is coming out, to go and see it with a crowd and sort of watch them react, especially when it's one this funny? Yeah, I just like to see what people laugh at. Like, that is really interesting for me to check out. And uh, well, one time I was in a movie theater with my buddy, and, and we were sitting there, and a trailer, it was a big summer movie, I, it was like some action movie, and they, were, they showed a trailer for one of the movies that I was in. And I was trying to make my buddy laugh, and we were in the theater, and after the trailer ended, I just yell out, because like it's a dark theater, no one knows I'm there. They I'm don't going, know it's you, yeah. Yeah, and just so I just go, I'm seeing that, right? Yeah. And my buddy's kind of laughing, kind of like, you're an idiot. And then um, the guy in front of me who has no idea it's me, just goes, yeah, maybe on an airplane. <laughs> One of the most humbling, um, <laughs> like funny moments where I was like, "Yeah, no, I suck. I know." It's okay. <laughs> uh, now I don't know. You're a. You're, I knew this about you before. You're you're a hip hop fan. You're a pretty big hip hop. fan. I'm like that's a big part of my life. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but I grew up like I worship hip hop. It's like almost all I listen to. And then I think was it uh, Twenty One Jump Street where you got to work with Ice Cube. Ice Cube. So. When we were writing the first 21 Jump Street, we, uh, the first thing we wrote down was the guy who wrote F the police is gonna play the police captain, right. Ice Cube. Right. It's the first idea we had, and I called him and he did it, and it was like a dream come true for me. I got to spend all this time with him, ask him about NWA and all this stuff. And what was cool was when Channing and I were on that trip, um, Ice Cube was on part of it. So we were on a plane with Ice Cube, and so you forget, like, you're traveling, you've been working all day, you forget that, like, Ice Cube is there with you, you know? Like, he's not just, he's, he's not just a normal person, right, he's you're, Ice Cube. You think, like, he's the actor in the movie with you, you forget that he's that yeah. Ice Cube. Yeah. and he was, like, my hero growing up. You know, I'm from L.A., he's, like, the West Coast champion, like, I, like, except for Ice-T. Um, oh, yeah. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Um, I think you, <laughs> I, I think go. you screwed <laughs> this up already. <laughs> um, no, so, um, so, uh. We're there, and Chan and I was just like late at night. We're on a plane, and we're like kind of having this conversation because Channing loves hip hop too. And we're like, "Who's the best rapper of all time?" We're like, whatever. We're talking like, Tupac, Biggie, whatever. And I'm like, just like I would turn to a friend who was in the plane with us, and I go, "Hey, Cube," because we call yeah, him Cube. Sure. Shorten it up. Yeah. That's what he told me to call him. I didn't yeah. just take that liberty. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I turn around. I'm like, Cube, uh, who's the best rapper of all time? And he goes, "Me, mother." <laughs> Like, are you crazy? Like, are you out of your mind? Like, me? That's like someone you was forgot like, who you're talking to, yeah. Yeah, I just, I thought that was great. Uh, now, uh, let's talk about, uh, this is the end. Uh -huh. uh, of course, you're in this movie with all, all of your pals. You all get to play versions of yourself. Yeah, like, just douchey, awful versions of ourselves. Like, it's basically making fun of how actors are ridiculous and don't know how to do anything in life. And if there was an apocalypse, they'd just complain the whole time. And it's all you guys. <laughs> It's you, James Franco, uh -huh. Seth Rogen. You guys are all in a house together, and uh, it's the end of the world, and you don't have the best skills for dealing with it. Not no. that anybody would, but you guys... No, because the, the joke is that like actors have like assistants and stuff and like don't even know how to like get their own coffee and stuff. And mm -hmm. we make fun of each other so badly in this movie. Like, everyone just gets attacked. Our bad movies get made fun of constantly. It's super funny, and... Um, it's, it's really fun to watch, and uh, what's interesting is uh, James Franco, I guess, to, to, to promote the movie, uh -huh. uh, painted a mural. Have you seen the mural he painted for the movie? <laughs> yeah, he sent it to me. He painted uh, this mural that depicts all of you, <laughs> and it's not flattering to anybody, but check you out. Yeah, yeah. What, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> No, I think... What's, what's that all about? I think James sees me as um, a grave robber from the 1400s who's now a ghost. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't really... <laughs> I was like, he's like, do you like the mural? And I'm like, it's awesome. Yeah, what are you going to say? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, maybe he's blind. I, I don't know, you know? <laughs> no, he's such a talented artist, and, like, I was all for it. I thought it was cool, but sure. when I see it, I just am like, I, I should get a tan or something yeah, like should. that. Yeah, you know? <laughs>